everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we have something pretty cool for you. This is an electric pressure washer. Uh, New Shiro sent it to me to give a uh, good test on it and to give my thoughts on it and uh, to see if I liked it and if it actually works. So today that's what we're going to do. This is a 2300 uh, PSI. It runs at 1800 watts at 120 volts. It has four different nozzle options. It has 0, 15, 25, and 40, depending on your application, on how tough uh, the job is that you're doing. That's the nozzle that you want to put on. Uh, now, this has, it, it's at a pretty good price. I'm going to put the link down in the description, so go and check that out. So today what we're going to do, we're going to put it through its test. Uh, we're actually going to be knocking some moss off of a deck. Uh, we're really going to take some tough stains off of concrete. We're really just going to put it through it, and we're going to test out each nozzle. And we're going to be about a foot away from the surface every time we test it, so stick around. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to knock the moss off, and we're going to try and clean it deck and take some of the paint off the deck as well. We're going to use the different nozzles on each one so you can see how powerful they are on uh, each nozzle and just how effective they are as well. Now, uh, before we get into that, let's talk about some of the features. This does have wheels and it does have a retractable handle for convenient transport. It does have cord storage. Um, it does have accessory storage on the back. Now the cords, the power cord is about 20 feet long and the power washer hose itself is about 20 feet long and you provide your own garden hose so it's however long you want that to be. Um, so it is pretty convenient. You do have quick release for the wand itself here. So that's really nice in case you need to change out the uh, wand. You have quick release for the hose attachment itself here too, so that's really nice. And you do have an attachment on the bottom here too, and uh, that locks it so people can't turn this on unnecessarily, especially in transport. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the test, and let's test this thing out. Zero degree head. Okay, so with this you can see it takes a long time. It's very powerful, but it takes a long time to get through here. So this is very focused um, and not something that's very practical with this type of cleaning, but um, it does uh, work very well and effective. Let's go ahead and go up to the next nozzle and that is going to be the 15 degree nozzle. Okay, so just as I suspect, uh, suspected, this was not as effective, but it covered more area here, so you're able to go from here to here a lot quicker. You just have to be a little bit closer, more like six inches to the ground rather than a foot from the ground. Uh, so I'd say it did work. Um, you just had to get close enough and you had to take your time with it and knock the moss off. Um, and it took the uh, mildew off of the deck as well. So let's go ahead and move up to the next one. Okay, so whenever you use this nozzle, this is more for like washing your car, washing siding of a house. Um, so you really need to uh, uh, have some distance. You need to get up maybe two or three inches from an object before it starts cutting. Um, so this is where we start uh, stepping into a category of washing things. Let's go ahead and step up, step up to the 40 degree head.
Okay, you can see that this actually worked really well on the siding. It got the cobwebs off, it got some of that mildew off. It worked really well and it cleaned it. It looks a lot better. So for the last test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out each of a degree of nozzle and we're gonna make a stripe line all the way across and we're gonna do uh, just one pass so you can see how effective it is and what it actually looks like. So first, we're gonna start it with the zero and that's gonna be right here. Here we go. Now we're gonna move up to the 15 degree. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You can see for the single stream, that's gonna have your most focused pressure. That's the cleanest, um, the 15 degree. It's actually really clean. It doesn't have as focused, but you can see it worked very effectively, especially on this concrete. And then at the 25 degree, this worked pretty well, but you can see it's not getting it as clean. You can see the visible difference between the two, uh, but it is wider. And then surprisingly enough, at the 40 degree, you can see you know, the continuation of that this doesn't clean as well, but it's a broader stroke. So if you did this multiple passes, this would get it cleaner. So it's really your preference on how tough it is. This would get it eventually, but it's not going to get as clean as the 15, um, nor the 25, but you can see the gradual continuation here. And I think it shows a great example on the performance and what this machine can do. All right, everybody, so I hope this gave you a good understanding and a good demonstration of what this particular electric power washer is capable of. I think it shows you um, just how well it can clean something. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did like the video. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.